again. Welcome back. It's Wednesday. Woohoo! I'm just going to close out some of this stuff here. All right, so I want you to take a peek at what we have here. We have a placemat. This white board behind that it's the blocks are laying on are called a placemat. These are hundreds. Okay, the word hundreds and the number hundreds. These are called hundreds because there are a hundred little tiny cubes in each one. There are a hundred ones in this hundreds flat. These are called tens rods. You see the word tens and they're each worth ten. It's kind of shiny right there. I'll move it up. So these are tens. So here we have ten, here we have ten, here we have ten. All right, and these again, these are representative of ones and they're worth one. So that's worth one and that's worth one. So looking at what I have here, how many hundreds flats do I have? I have one hundreds flat and I have two hundreds flats. So this is two hundreds. Okay? I don't write the number two hundred, but that is the value of the Philip two hundred. We're going to stop for a second. All right. So we have two hundreds. The value would be two hundred. Okay? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to write it down here. The value of those two hundreds is two hundred. But we don't record this number in the hundreds place. We record this two. Okay? So I'm going to cover it back up. How many tens rods do I have? I have one, two, three. So I would record that as three tens rods. Three tens is also worth ten, twenty, thirty. So I would write that down here, but again, I don't want to write it and make you think that you need to write that in the tens place. And here I have how many ones? I have two ones, okay? So I have 232. The answer to how many cubes I have here, how many blocks, the answer would be 232. All right, so what you guys are going to do today is you're going to get a piece of paper that looks like this. You're going to write your name on it and today's date. All right. So after you do that, we're going to go ahead and you're going to cut your paper. I'm going to use a pen so it doesn't leak through. You're going to cut your uh, square here into three columns. Okay. I want everybody to do this now after you've written your name and today's date. Okay. All right, so I'm going to put hundreds, tens, ones, okay? We remember what hundreds looks like. These are hundreds flats. Do I have any in this picture here? There are none, so I'm going to put a zero. How many tens are there? Well, I want you to count the tens rods and write how many rods you counted and put it here. Go for it. Okay, after you've written it, I want you to say the number out loud. How many tens rods did you count? Your answer should have been seven. Okay? Now I want you to count your ones. Write it in your ones box. How many ones did you say? Good. You should have said three. What number does this make up? Well, if we count 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 71, 72, 73. We're going to write the number 73 on the side. Take a look at your placemat. It makes the number 73. All right, we're going to do a next one together. How many hundreds flats are there? Looks just like this. There is one hundred flat. How many tens? I can't hear you. You're right, two. There are two tens and how many ones? One, two, three, four, five, six. What number does this make? One hundred. 26. Look at this number right here. 126. All right, now try the last one on your own and put a star in the bottom right corner if you're listening. Super. Flip it over. All right, you're going to do the same thing. All right, take a peek. This is where this problem is. This one is all one problem. And that answer goes in there. I would cut into my hundreds, tens, and ones first, make my placemat. And then this one goes along just with that. Okay? When you're finished, turn it into the homework basket. Do not put it in your mailbox.
Have a good day, guys. See y'all.